Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we're going to do my picks for week 11. And I have another guest with me today to help me out. I'm going to be on a Zoom call with my brother Jim. And we're going to go over the games in week 11. But I got some big news. I was 11 and 3 last week. You like that? You like that? An incredible 11 and 3. And the three games I got wrong were all evening games Thursday night football, Sunday night football, and Monday night football. Those were the only three games I got wrong. 11 and 3. And that puts me squarely. At 88 and 58 and puts me back over 60% for the year. I'm at a 60.3 pick percentage for the year. And with that, we're going to go into week 11 picks. All right, so let's get into the picks for this week. Now, I know the first game we're going to do, and here again, my, my brother Jim, live from Seattle. No, <laughs> not, not really. But anyway, um, we I are, wish I was. we're going to get into the Thursday night game, and the Thursday night game, of course, is one that's near and dear to you, and that is the Seahawks hosting the Cardinals. Who do you have in this game? Well, Bob, you know I want Seattle. I want them to win. But don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> However, the stadium is going to look a lot like it looks behind me right now. <laughs> and without the 12th man, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Jamal Adams has been back for a couple of weeks. He seems to be the only one playing defense for uh, Seattle right now. Uh, you know, a, a no, no Seattle pass rush, which has been non-existent all year, might help against Arizona because you really don't want Kyler Murray to go out of the out of the pocket. Right. Seattle is undefeated at home, but I think Arizona's got too much for him. I'm yeah. going to go with the Cardinals. And that is exactly what I'm doing, too. I'm going with the Cards. As much as I hate to think about it. Well, yes, but... <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they, were, they were quite impressive in that comeback uh, last Sunday. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a good thing you weren't picking the spread or the over-under of that, that game. Oh. Well, you know, and it and here's the thing, of like all of the morning games, like let's see, I, I guess I was like four four and zero oh in those, but in three of them, my team won by a grand total in the three games of twelve points. So <laughs> I was, I mean, I came that close. To, I mean, it could have been disastrous or it could have been great, like it was. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, the over-under in the game was 56. And the score was 30 to 26 until Kyler Murray threw the, uh, threw the touchdown pass. The, yeah, point yeah. spread, the point spread was two and a half. But the Cardinals won by two because they didn't have to kick the extra point. Yeah. So there are probably a lot of people hoping they had to kick that extra point. All right. All right, well, the next game is the um, Steelers at the Jaguars. And uh, this one I'm going to give a little commentary on. But first, who do you have in this game winning it? Um, it would be hard for me to go against Pittsburgh. With uh, yeah. the Jags at 1-9, 1-8, um, yeah. yeah, it would be tough for me to go and, against Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh undefeated, yes. <laughs> And that's pretty much what I'm thinking. I've I've picked several times against the Steelers 
and they are what are they like nine and oh so i was like no that's not gonna happen we are not gonna go against the steelers and and big ben and uh so he looks a lot better than he has in in fact actually he looks better now than he has even when he was younger at times because you know when he was younger he was a little more you know take a risk with the ball a little more but now he doesn't do that as much so no he doesn't he takes care of the ball he does so the next game we got is the uh lions at the panthers i'm just gonna say that uh, in this game i'm going with the panthers so that's my pick all right i think the lions will be uh I think the Lions will be motivated by their win last week, and I'll go Detroit. Going with Detroit, trying to – thinking that uh, – what's his name going to have to try to save his job? A <laughs> <laughs> former New England coach. <laughs> so we got the – and the next one is the uh, Patriots at the Texans. The Patriots were – they surprised me last uh, last week when they beat the uh, the Ravens. So, um, but really, the, I mean, the Texans. Is anybody really going to pick the Texans anyway? So, not me. I'm going Patriots. <laughs> That's right. I'm going Patriots as well. So, let me uh, got this thing on the screen there. Okay, get rid of that. So you didn't get rid of me. Yes, no, I, yeah, I, was, I don't want to do that accidentally. So, yeah, we're both picking the Patriots there. And now you got the other team that was involved in that game, the Ravens and the Titans at the Ravens. Now, um, I kind of went back and forth about this one, but in the end, I got to say I'm going with the Ravens. Me too, Bob. Got to go Ravens on that one. Really? All right. At home, you know? As like you said, I said that I told you I remember this past week. I said the Titans can't decide what kind of team they are. And you said, well, right now they're one that's lost three of their last four games. <laughs> so yeah. Now we've got a game that you're gonna do some commentary on, I know, because you are from the uh, you live right now in the Philadelphia area, and that is the Eagles at the Browns. Yes. I, I'm i going to give it away right away and tell you that I'm going Browns. You're going Browns. Yeah. The, uh, the, the NFC East is 0-8-1 when they play out of conference this year. Yeah. That doesn't bode well. Right. Carson Wentz is way too inconsistent. Their defense after their front four is terrible. Uh, you know, I, I give the QB edge to the Browns. Uh, Philadelphia is only one and three on the road. And let's face it, if you can't beat the Giants, I don't, I don't know. If you can't beat the Giants, I don't know who you can beat. Right. There's, yeah, we don't know who you can beat, although really all four teams in that division are still in it. But, yeah, I'm going to go with the Browns as well. I mean, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out that uh, Doug Peterson has that team headed in the wrong direction. Of course, really, the other three coaches have their teams also headed. They're just kind of spinning around and crashing into each other, and nobody wants to win the divisions. <laughs> All right, the next one we got is the Falcons at the Saints. So who are you picking here? You know what? I really like the Saints. I don't know if Drew Brees is going to play. He's probably he not. not. But not I'm going to still go Saints. Yeah, I know. It's really <laughs> – I don't care if Winston, what's-his-name, is playing or that other guy, that, that Swiss Army Knife guy. I don't Taysom care. Taysom Hill. I, I tell you what, go with Taysom Hill every time. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go Saint. We both are picking the Saints there. So, really, we have – only differed on, I think, one game so far. So the next one is the one that I'm going to talk about, and that is the – oh, I dropped the helmet. So let's see. That is 
the Washington football team against the Bengals. And uh, Washington is at home, but I am going to go with the Bengals in this one. Yeah, I like, I like uh, that one, uh, huh? Yeah, Joe Burrow, I mean, you know. Uh, Washington, actually, they looked pretty good last week. They lost, but they did look pretty good. They put up a nice battle, but uh, I just – uh, I don't see it. I don't. I don't know. I think Burrow is going to figure out a way to uh, to beat that Washington football team. So, what do you think there? I like the football team. No, I like I'm... Alex Smith. He'll be in his third week of starting. I <laughs> like what I like where that team is going. I think that they could be a contender for the division title. You remember on last we just week, said last was show, remember on last week's show when I was on with Doof and I said that <laughs> I said that uh, Alex Smith has been playing inconsistently. He goes, "Well, he is coming back from one of the most horrific injuries in football <laughs> history." So, I was like, "All right, all right," but <laughs> so the next one we got. And this is the one I'm going to talk a little bit about as well. And that is the uh, Charger, the Jets at the Chargers. And in this one, I am going with the Chargers. I like Herbert. I like what Herbert's doing there. And, of course, really nobody likes what the Jets are doing, not even their coach. Yes. Any <laughs> not even the Jets like it. Wives. <laughs> nobody likes what's going on in New York, so... Even Mike, uh, what's his name on uh, ESPN, Mike Green? Yeah, Mike Greenberg, yes. Yeah, yeah. He is a really an outspoken critic of the Jets organization. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's easy to be an outspoken the critic yes. of the Jets. <laughs> I, when you held up those helmets, the way the light struck the Chargers helmet, I didn't see the, I didn't see the lightning bolt. I thought oh. the Jets were going to play Penn State. Oh, Penn State. I still don't think they would beat Penn State. And yeah, Penn State well, doesn't have any wins. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't be any of the major college programs. I doubt. I mean, it would be a tough one. All right. So we've got uh, the the next one. We've got is the Dolphins and the Broncos. And in this one, I am going to go with the Dolphins because I like what they're doing. They brought Tua in, mm -hmm. and he has proven that he is. You know, I thought it was a risky move with him, you know, going up against, um, you know, replacing uh, Fitzmagic. But, you know, I I, I got to say, he's he has played quite well since coming off the bench in replace of Fitzmagic. So I'm going with the Dolphins there. I like Tua as well. I think the Dolphins win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they uh, – yeah, I mean, the Broncos, they – I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so, did your guest last week have any insight into what the Broncos are doing? <laughs> no. No, he did not. So, let's see. You are going with – yeah, you picked the Chargers in that last one, and then – No, I all, didn't. You didn't? Well, yeah, the Chargers and the Jets. Against, yes, I did. Yeah, against yeah. the Jets, yeah. yeah. And you picked uh, – and you're going with the Dolphins. So, yeah, so far we've only differed on one game. I think. Oh, differed no, two. on two. Washington, yeah. Oh, yeah, two. So, the next one we got, and this is another one, uh, you know, of a horrible team against a not so very good team at all. And that is the Dallas Cowboys going to visit the Vikings. And who you got in this one? I got, I got Minnesota. Yeah. I, I think they're uh, I think they're on the right track. I think they're heading up. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I gotta go with Minnesota as well. You know, you know, Dallas is another one of those teams that's playing a mystery quarterback. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, what do you gotta what do you gotta say about that? Who who won the uh who won the sweepstakes this week in Dallas to be their quarterback? <laughs> Is yeah, it, is Dalton back. <laughs> yeah, who, instead of who wants to be a millionaire, who wants to be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys? Mm -hmm. So we, the next one we got here is the uh, Packers going to visit the Colts, 
Now, I might be making a little bit of a surprising pick here, but I'm going to go with the Colts. Mm. I'm picking the Colts. You're picking the Colts. I can't believe it. I am. <laughs> I do not bet against Aaron Rodgers. No way. Not I'm, gonna... go, I'm going the pack. Yeah, all right. So you can uh... – <laughs> Is that your upset special? Well, you know, I don't have one every week, but I guess, yes, I suppose I would say that if if the uh, Colts are not favored to win that game, and they probably aren't, that, yeah, that would be my upset special. So now we got another, we got a great divisional rivalry here, and that is the uh, Chiefs playing the vaunted Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders. The Raiders. So who you got in this one? Well, uh, this is my this is my last game that we're that I'm commenting on. Um, you know the Chiefs lost to Las Vegas in Week Five, forty to thirty-two. Mm -hmm. uh, both teams had four hundred yards of total offense. They combined for eighteen penalties, which isn't saying much for the Raiders. Uh, yeah, I know. It's par for the course for the Raiders. <laughs> the Chiefs are 4-0 on the road. And I don't think too many teams in this league can beat the Chiefs twice in the same season. So I'm going to go. I I'm going to go with the Chiefs. All right. I'm going Raiders. I'm You're going, going Raiders. Damn, I'm going Raiders again. Wow. Oh. I think the Raiders are pulling it up. But yeah, I you know I remember one time years ago I um, was talking to Williamson about these about games and you know picking games and stuff, and he said it's extremely difficult to win for one team to beat another team twice in the same season. So I, I agree with Jim. Yes. Yeah. So unless you're the Eagles, well, then anyone the Jets, can beat them twice yeah, in the, the same season. Are, yeah, the Jets are going to lose to everybody in the division twice. But <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> – you don't even – I mean, if you're the Patriots or the Bills or somebody like that, you don't even need to pull out the game film on the Jets the second time. <laughs> you just say, we beat them last time, we'll beat them again. So the next, the last game, actually, the last game that we are talking about is going to be the Rams and the Buccaneers. And you know what? I'm going with Brady and the Buccaneers. I'm going with Brady. Yeah, I'm going to ride the Brady train. What do you oh, think? I'm going Jared Goff. I like the Rams. As much as I don't like the Rams. Yes, I like the Rams. As much as you don't want the Rams to win. <laughs> That's exactly what we're talking about. So. All right, so those are our picks for the week. But let me know, you guys out there that are watching this video, let me know what your picks are. Do you think that we're off on any of these? Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Share it with people if you can. Talk about it at work. Hey, did you see Sportsman Z this week in his picks? And make sure you remind everybody that I was 11-3 and three last week. I saw your picks last week. And let me tell you, I saw Chris Dufour's picks, and he almost had the Jags and the Packers. I mean, I think he went with the Packers in the end, but he was dead on about the Jags playing at Green Bay. I, yeah. was, I was impressed. And I was like, yeah. oh, my God, he might be right. The Jags might do this again. Yeah. He was close. Yeah. He, was, he close. was. And they got a new – they got a rookie quarterback playing too, don't they? Well, uh, he was hurt last week. Oh. Um, Minishu was, was injured. They were playing – or at least he wasn't playing late in the game when um, – see, I had to watch another game. I had to watch the Eagles because I'm in Philadelphia. So. Yeah. They switched over at the end, and um, uh, Bolton or Holton or something like that. Hutan, that was his name, Hutan, I think. I yeah. never heard of him. Kind of like that guy the Bears threw in there at the end. Yeah, kind of like him, yeah. I never heard of that guy either. 
Never heard of him. I, I had to I had to DVR like rewind my TV and be like, who did they just yeah. bring in? Who did they bring in? Who's that guy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when they showed Trubisky on the sideline in like a winter hat, I was like, oh, that does not look good. I don't yeah. think they're bringing him in. And, and, and you have to ask yourself, why is that the case? He hasn't been playing. <laughs> what did you do, fall down at home? I don't know. Fall at your coffee table or something? <laughs> so, yeah, you got to wonder. So that concludes our show for this week. And uh, we will be back with you next week with next week's picks. But for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.